Welcome to another episode of How It Be with Danny G. Today we're going to look into uh, a water heater that uh, I posted a picture of uh, last month and the nipples on the top of the water heater were pointed inward. The water heater had failed. Uh, it was about 12 years old and um, it was leaking everywhere. I posted a picture because of the way that the nipples were pointed in, kind of wanted to kind of stir up some conversation uh, about that. So a lot of people commented and posted about it and several have, just about everyone has seen that phenomenon. Uh, and many feel that it, it has uh, everything to do with um, expansion. Uh, and there was no expansion tank on this particular water heater and there was a check valve uh, at the meter. So it's a closed system. Nevertheless, um, uh, after I posted that, we started to receive uh, mail about it. And, and, I, and there was uh, one letter in particular uh, from a youngster out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona area. Um, so we, we try to you know, answer uh, the mail and, and answer requests uh, when we can. So th this letter reads, uh, Dear Danny G., OMG, please cut it open, top and bottom, signed Michael DeFratis. Okay, well, um, Michael, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, honor your request here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make this happen. So, um, without further ado, let's head to the shop, and we'll go ahead and uh, get to business Okay, so here we are we got our 40 gallon uh, Bradford white with hydrojet technology uh, This particular one was made in June of 2007 was the manufacturer date and It failed and leaked from somewhere inside the tank um, This is one that we have As you can see, the the um, nipples are pointed in. So as a uh, reference, we'll use the speed square so that you can see kind of the angle uh, of descent. So go ahead and pull that speed square back a little bit. Keep pulling it back. So kind of give you an idea of the angle that this is uh, deformed to. Oh, look. Cool. Huh, that's cool. They put a lawnmower blade in here. I'll just be able to cut that up, and I got two blades out of that. That's sweet. All right. So, discard that. Now let's go ahead and, and uh, slice this thing up, and um, and we'll see what uh, see what the inside looks like. Okay. So now we've got different methods of cutting it. Uh, I was going to go with the. Uh, the grinder with a cutting disc, the fuel grinder. But now I'm thinking that uh, my son pointed out it'd be cool if we had a long sawzall blade. This one has carbide teeth on it. I've had this blade for a while. I kind of think we're going to give this a shot just for fun to see how this blade cuts. So we kind of made us, uh, we snapped us a line. Let's go ahead and see how it works.
think we need a longer blade. Did you get right down the middle of the gas pipe? Or close to it. <laughs> nice. By the way, I don't think I've introduced Nick here. Nick is my son, Nick Gronendike. Howdy. And uh, he's giving me a hand here in the shop <laughs> for this project. All right. Okay, so this is the big reveal. Open it up. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we had to, we could not cut through the flue the whole way, so we left the flue attached to one half. Just cut around the flue. So, obviously, this is the cold side, because here's our dip tube. Bottom of the tank.
so I noticed this is this right here is bent this side isn't like that this mm -hmm. side I don't know if it was heat deflection getting away from the the mm -hmm. burner mm -hmm. but that seems to have moved upwards where the rest of the mm -hmm. tank even on this side it's not like that so that tank is not uh, uniform all the way around on the bottom so we get we get deflection and warpage there which probably is the exact same thing that went on up here I would assume I think just yeah it seems to be I mean right here you, you can kind of see it might just be our cuts this comes to an an oddly sharp point as where this one is mm -hmm. more rounded off, more smooth. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I definitely have to go with the theory that it has to do with the thermal expansion. I would have to agree with that. 